So we have an integral and it appears to fit the form of a trig substitution. Recall if you have an integral and it has the form a squared minus u squared, a substitution that you can make is u equals a sine theta. So in this case we can think of 49 as 7 squared and so a is equal to 7 and u is equal to x. So our substitution is simply x equals 7 sine of theta. Now we can go ahead and compute dx. So dx is equal to 7 cosine theta, d theta. So we've taken care of the dx, we've taken care of the x. The only thing that remains is the numerator. Let's go ahead and write it out. So this is the square root of 49 minus x squared. So this is equal to 49. And we know x is equal to 7 sine theta. So we just square the 7, so we get 49 and we square the sine function so we get sine squared. Now we factor out a 49, so this is the square root of 49 times the square root of 1 minus sine squared. The square root of 49 is 7 and then 1 minus sine squared is cosine squared. And so we end up with 7 cosine theta. And now we're at a point where we're ready to actually make our substitution. So we have the integral. Let's see, the numerator we said was 7 cosine theta. So 7 cosine theta. And then we also have dx. We said that was also 7 cosine theta. <laughs> Coincidence. So 7 cosine theta. And then we have the d theta. And in the denominator, we have x. We said x was 7 sine theta. So this is 7 sine theta. So at this point, some stuff should cancel. Looks like we lose a 7. So this is equal to 7. I'll pull it out. Cosine times cosine is cosine squared theta over sine theta, d theta. It doesn't look like a substitution will work right away. So let's go ahead and try using an identity. We know that cosine squared is 1 minus sine squared. And this is over sine. We can rewrite this, so we can break it up as follows. It's going to be 1 over sine. Now 1 over sine is cosecant. And then minus sine squared over sine. Sine squared over sine is simply sine. So minus 7 sine theta d theta. Now we can integrate. The integral of cosecant is negative and we still have the seven, natural log absolute value of cosecant theta plus cotangent theta, absolute value, minus, and then the integral of sine is negative cosine. And we have the plus C. Let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit more. This is negative seven natural log of cosecant of theta plus cotangent of theta, and then we have the plus 7 cosine theta plus c. Now we're not done, we have to go back to our original substitution, which was x equals 7 sine theta, and use that to draw a triangle. So recall that our original substitution was x equals 7 sine theta. That means that the sine of theta is equal to x over 7. And we're going to invoke the power of Sokotoa. So here, this is opposite over hypotenuse. So when we draw our triangle, here's our theta. And so it's opposite over hypotenuse. So the opposite is x and the hypotenuse is 7. And if we call this b, we can use the theorem of Pythagoras to solve for b. So 7 squared is equal to x squared plus b squared. That means that 49 minus x squared is equal to b squared. And so b is equal to the square root of 49 minus x squared. And the reason it's not plus or minus, it's just plus, is because it's the length of the side of a triangle. So now we can go back and fill everything in and probably be, be done. So let's see, negative 7, natural log, all right, so cosecant is 1 over sine, so it's ho, ho. So it's hypotenuse 
over opposite. So 7 over x. And then we've got cotangent. That's 1 over tangent. So it's AO, AO. So adjacent over opposite. So plus the square root of 49 minus x squared over x plus 7 and now we've got cosine that's ka so adjacent over hypotenuse so the square root of 49 minus x squared that's the adjacent and the hypotenuse is 7 plus c oh it looks like the 7's cancel so this is equal to negative 7 natural log absolute value of 7 over x plus the square root of 49 minus x squared over x absolute value plus the square root of 49 minus x squared plus our constant c and that is the final answer i kind of rushed through this but it's a very very long problem i hope that made sense